Hello, welcome back. St Bernardus, which I, I've never had before, but I've got six different types. The six, St Bernardus six, the Peter. It's a Belgian double. I've got the the Prior eight, the Abbot twelve. I've got the the fit beer, the blonde beer, or something. I've got six of them anyway. So these are, this is continuing my series of Abbey beers. So this one, a Belgian double, let's see, I've taken some notes. It's St. Bernard, Bernard is Peter 6, Belgian double, 6.7% ABV, IBU 25. It's a, a chestnut colour, it's a fruity, melon and banana notes. We'll see about that, eh? Best served at 8 to 12 Celsius. The bottle's 13.4. We'll see what the beer inside is. I've got my St. Bernardus, St. Bernardus chalice. Never used before. Crack it up. I'll put the crown in there. Let's see how it pours. I love the labels. And someone pointed out once in another video that the, the colour of the beer on the label reflects the colour, the actual colour of the beer. That's brilliant, isn't it? So, Let's have a wee look at the, the temperature in the, the glass. 12.7. So it's a tad over. Perfect. But, it'll just have to do. Let's have a wee look at the colour. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. It's opaque. I'll tell you what, there's not much light getting through that at all. Let's have a... It's, there's a, it's a, it's a a nutty brown chestnut brown. I love that colour. I'm going to see if there's any, if this will pick up any of the colours. Oh yeah. Oh my word. That's beautiful, isn't it? There's a very slightest reddish tinge to it. But that chestnut brown, oh, it's so beautiful. So, let's have a wee sniff. My chalice swirling needs a lot of practice still. It's about a half inch of mousse like foam. It's quite yeasty to start with. Oh, I'm getting those, these, those fruity and malty notes. It's a standard double, you know. I can't pick out any particular fruit. I can't pick out melon or banana or maybe maybe there's a slight banana smell to it. Anyway, cheers my dears. Three sips. Three sips because I can't do I can do that. Can I do I can't do that with that hand. Be quiet, don't. Cheers, my dears. That is very carbonated, very effervescent. There's a slight bitter tinge to it. Tinge, tinges for colour, edge. But I'm definitely getting those toffee like caramel malts and it's like it's like a rich pop me it's very gassy it's like uh not exactly pruney but like raisins very rich fruits it's, it's a very rich beer i'm looking forward to the 
the 8 and the 12. I think they're doubles. I know the 8's are double, I don't know about the 12. But I think they're just m even more intense than this. And this is quite rich. Anyway. The tasting sheet from craftbeer.com. So the colour is probably a 30, something like that. Clarity is is clear. There's no... It's opaque, but it's not hazy or cloudy. So if that means clear... They should have non-hazy or non-cloudy in this. Colour of foam head retention. It's left a film of uh, foam on the surface, but I'm going to say it's poor. Foam texture's thin. Visual carbonation, I can't see any. But it's very, very gassy. The aroma alcohol, not detectable. The hops. Fruity. I'm gonna to have to I'm gonna to have to try and educate myself on the the what's 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 hoppy and what's yeast. What what's giving those smells and tastes. Well smells anyway. But I'll say it's fruity for the it's, it's the hops that's giving it that fruitiness. The malt is caramel toffee. Uh, the flavour and aftertaste, alcohol, not detectable. What did I say it was 6%? 6.7%. And yeah, I'm not picking that up. Uh, the hop flavour, I'll say fruity, but I don't know if that's the hops. The hop bitterness is restrained, the malt, it's, yeah, it's caramel. I'm going to say pruny as well, and there's a wee bit of that. The malt sweetness, it's not that sweet really. I mean, it's, it's well balanced between the bitterness and the sweetness. The palate astringent is low, the body is quite... Is it drying or is it soft? It's a medium bodied beer. I'm going to say it's soft. There's just, the sweetness just edges the bitterness, so, so not drying. Palate carbonation is, is high. The length is medium. Balance drinkability desirable, style appropriate. It's a double, one of my favourite styles of beer. Let's have a look on Untapped. Okay. It's called Peter Six or Father. Father Six. Peter Cease. It's from Brewery St. Bernardus in Flanders in Belgium. It's classed as a Belgian double. ABV 6.7%. That's well hidden. The IBU is 25. So there is a very slight bit of edge to it. The French check is 2 with an average score of 4. Everyone else is 69,000, with an average of 3.56. I, I suppose that's fair. It's a bit low for me, but... So, the style is... Peter Six is a traditional Abbey-style double, chestnut in colour, very fruity with notes of melon and very fresh banana. That's where I must have got these notes. Finishing with slight bitterness. Delightfully easy to drink. 6.7% ABV. One of the original recipes from the days of licensed brewing for the Trappist monks of West Vletteren. Or West Vletteren. West. So, fruity notes with notes of melon and very fresh banana. Very fresh banana, do they mean like the green bananas? Oops. So the melon. I'm not picking up on the smell. Or not even the green banana. I'm getting I'm getting the toffee, the caramel malts, that's the predominant smell. So 
I can't say I'm getting melon. What kind of melon? Honeydew? Watermelon? <laughs> I can't say I'm picking that up, but I mean, everybody's palate's different, isn't it? But, this is a very good beer. I'm so looking forward to the rest of this, these uh, St. Bernardus beers. I'm going to give it 9 out of 10. Because it is a very, very good beer. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. St. Bernardus Prior 8 tomorrow. Cheers, my dears. It's lovely. <laughs>